Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the morning sun preset for the photo editing. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the actually I'm just closing it up. That means this one is our non-edited image. I downloaded this image from deviana.com and provided the download link in my video description. Press Ctrl or Command J. It will make another copy of the main layer giving the name edit and then going to the filter and camera filter so i'm using here the camera uh, 14 actually 14.1 uh, this is the updated version and photoshop 2022 you can update this photoshop and the camera by using the adobe creative cloud or you can go to the website and you can get over there all the stuffs i'll provide you the link Okay, from here, here is a three small dots that is the menu and going to the load settings options. And I already made this one from morning sun for you guys and load it up. So after loading that, you are getting the output like this. Let's see the before and after. So what I have done over here, the settings, let's discuss about the settings. It will help you out to make your own uh, like uh, presets or XMP files for the Lightroom and uh, the Photoshop. Just because of this panel, camera and the loud Lightroom editing panel is same as each other that's why you are getting over here the same things if you want to apply in a lightroom here the uh, temperature minus 9 and all the things are 0 over here i used here the whites minus 52 and the blacks minus 10 over here plus uh, vibrance plus 22 after the basic going to the curves options here i use the rgb tone curve and red green and blue individually here the input value 2 output value 29 input value 50 output value 54 input value 105 and output value 101 input value 162 output value 142 input value 254 and output value 222 and lots of things are over here i won't discuss about that just because of it will be the boring things here the detailing option 18 for the sharpening amount and the radius 1 detailing over here the 25 masking i didn't use over there uh, into color mixture that is the important things which is the hue saturation luminance hue which color will be defined with that sometimes you can uh, get like that but i'll suggest you to divide this one into the hue saturation and luminance it will help you out to more here the hue which color will be here is the color belt you can choose color if you change the value you will change the color and uh, saturation 10 it is defining that how percentage you are providing over here the luminance intensity of the color how light will be the color so here the hue of the red i used here the value 47 orange plus 7 yellow minus 4 94 green minus 92 aqua that is plus 31 blue minus 13 uh, here the purples plus 10 and the magenta plus 25 and saturation over here uh, i'm using here plus 10 minus 10 for the uh, orange and uh, when you are using the plus or minus value it is defining it will be less or more it is defining this minus or plus value here minus uh, 9 for the yellow green for minus 50 minus 31 for aqua here minus uh, 24 blue minus 11 for the purples luminance minus 20 plus 3 minus 26 uh, plus 43 and minus 94 okay that's good and the color grading here uh, we are using here the shadow mid-tone and highlight so what is the color grading some of my fans always ask me what is the color grading tell me more about that so color grading is that here three portion the shadow highlight and mid tone that means the shadow portion which color will be in a highlight portion what color will be and the less highlighted area that means the mid tone what color will be or which color will be that is defined and when you are giving the color providing the color in that three part you are getting the color grading so here i am using for the shadow purpose i am using here the value 268 sometimes you didn't get like that here is small triangle just click over there it will expand and here hue that means which color will be here the value is telling that color that means the color value is 268 and the saturation percentage 
it is telling over here and here the mid tone here 33 for the color and the percentage of the color that means the saturation 16 and uh, here is the highlight color which color will be 219 if you provide the same value in your photograph you are getting the same color over there so this one is the unique value here the saturation one after that optics geometry and effects i didn't use that and calibration i used only three primary colors over here but from there blue primary minus 36 for this and hit the ok button don't forget to use my credit line i'll be happy for that okay now the before one and after one this one was the tutorial for today Hope that you will be benefited for, from this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you have any kind of question, query request, please do comment on my video comment section. And stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Keep me in your prayers as well. Until the next video, I'm ASMR signing out. Bye-bye.